Is VPS hosting worth it? In this video, we're going to take a look at shared versus VPS hosting, recommended uses of VPS hosting, and who should use shared versus VPS hosting. Let's take a look at shared versus VPS hosting. With shared hosting, your website shares resources with other websites. You'll have limited server controls. You'll likely have access to cPanel, but not all the options that cPanel offers. But the benefit is you need zero IT knowledge to run it. So let's take a look at it from a graphic standpoint. So you're going to be on a dedicated server, which has a number of system resources that includes disk space and RAM, but all of the different websites are going to share the same resources. So if this website here is using a, is getting a ton of traffic and using a lot of resources, then if your website is over here, it's going to be affected by this one. So if this is bogging down the server, all of these websites are also getting bogged down. Now let's take a look at VPS hosting. With managed and unmanaged, you have exclusive access to the system resources allocated to your website. You're going to have access to WHM, cPanel, and root access. Now, you're not going to need any IT knowledge. It is beneficial, but unless, of course, you're using unmanaged uh, system, uh, an unmanaged VPS, in which case you will, but you're going to get higher uptime and it's more scalable than shared hosting. Now let's take a look again. You have a dedicated server where the RAM and the disk space is partitioned for each of the VPSs. So if VPS2 is getting bogged down because it's getting a lot of traffic, it's not going to affect your VPS over a number one. This is the big difference between shared and VPS hosting. You're utilizing just your resources, which means you have a lot more control over what happens if things are getting bogged down. The benefits of VPS versus shared hosting. With a VPS hosting, you're gonna get more resources, it's gonna be faster, you're gonna have better security, more control, and you're gonna have a higher server uptime. The downfall, it's gonna have a higher cost. When to use shared versus VPS hosting. For shared hosting, some of the recommended uses are websites that are going to get low traffic, websites that have very few pages, you're going to have very basic functionality on the site, and it's really more of a brochure type site. Whereas a VPS, it's much better use for directories or listings, e-commerce, more on the small to medium size, uh, online reservations, websites with a little bit more sensitive data, custom functionality, and if you are hosting multiple sites. These are the big differences in the use between the two. Here are the types of businesses for the hosting type. For shared, it's great for trades or construction, food services and restaurants, home services like cleaning, auto mechanics, pet services, so kennels and grooming, and beauty salons. For VPS, you're going to want if to use a VPS if you have a law firm, you're a realtor, especially one with real estate listings, you're a medical professional, you have a financial services company, you're a sports organization, or you run a hotel with bookings. Now you might wonder about the sports organizations component. The reason why I say this is sports organizations generally get a lot of traffic at the beginning of a season. And a lot of times a shared hosting option isn't going to be able to support that spike in traffic. So I suggest using a VPS for it. What are the difference in the costs of hosting? For shared hosting, you can generally find it quite reasonable. One place at SiteGround offers it for $3.95 per month. 
Uh, a VPS, uh, managed VPS, starts at $59 per month. You can find that at Liquid Web. Uh, if you're running a larger e-commerce site using WooCommerce, there's a dedicated type hosting service for $2.59 per month from Liquid Web. This is a brand new service. It's actually quite neat. Or if you just need a dedicated account at $159 per month, you can also get that from Liquid Web. These are pretty typical pricing differences when it comes to hosting costs. Where can you get hosting? For shared hosting, you can get it from SiteGround and there's a discount for 60% off and you can go to that using the link down below. They also have a WordPress hosting option. Also, they have 60% off. You can get a VPS from Liquid Web gets 50% off for three months using the promo code FASTVPS50. Or you can get a dedicated hosting for 38% off for four months using the promo code DEDDY38, and that's at Liquid Web as well.